Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make a frequency table. Now remember, frequency tables are a way for us to organize and display data. Frequency tables show us the number of times something occurs in a data set. Let's jump into our example and see how to make a frequency table. So here we have scores from an algebra pop quiz. The quiz was out of 10 points. We need to make a frequency table to organize and display this data. Let's start by finding the lowest score and highest score. We need to know this in order to know where to start and end our table. So the lowest score is four and the highest score is 10. Now that we know where to start and end our table, we can make our table. Now for this data, we do not have a very wide range or too many individual values, meaning we are only going from four to 10. So we're going to list each individual value here for our table. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, we are going from four to 10. And since we are writing out each individual value in our table, this is called ungrouped data or an ungrouped frequency table. So let's draw our table over here. And I'm going to start with three columns and then one row up top. And now we can fill in the column headers. So we're going to label each column here and we will start with the scores column. Then we have the tally column. And then lastly, we have the frequency column. So when we make frequency tables, we need three columns. The first column is going to be for the values we are using for the data that we are working with. Here we have values to show the scores on a pop quiz. The middle column is for the tallies. And then the third column, the one on the right, is the frequency column. Now that we have our three columns and our column headers, so the columns are labeled, we need seven more rows for our pop quiz scores. So four through 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that we have our rows, we can fill in the scores. So we have four through 10, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Next, we need to work through our data and make a tally for each of the scores. And I'm going to just work from left to right, starting with four here. So we have four, and let's tally all of these. So four, eight, nine, five, seven, nine, 10, eight, seven, four, five, eight, nine, 10, five, eight, nine, three eights in a row here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, a nine, and then two sevens. So one, two, one, two. Now that we worked through the data and we have a tally for each score, we can count up the tallies for the frequency of each score. So let's start with the score of four out of 10. 
How many students had a 4 out of 10? Well, 2. How about a 5 out of 10? 3. A 6? 0. A 7? 4. An 8? 7. A 9? 5. And then a 10? 2. And that's it as far as filling in the frequency table. Let's put a title up top here. So algebra pop quiz scores. So we took that original data and we organized it. We created a frequency table. So there you have it. There's how to make a frequency table. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.